Hello, I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist. Here's Parker. And today it is going to be. This is the Gaming Corner. How many episodes have we done of these now? Five. I don't know. Maybe about four. Three. No, four. no, 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 no. We haven't done that many. Yes, I did. This is episode. No, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, I no, think yeah, yeah, this like is episode. Me. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, they yeah. Meant with me. No, no, no. no. All right, welcome to episode six of the Gaming Corner, and of course, this is the show where I discuss anything relating to video games. And remember before when I said, "Okay, we're going to have um, sometimes I might have a guest," and well, he's back once again. You all know him. I'm the only you, guest I'll ever have. <laughs> yeah, because no one wants to be in my videos willingly, unless I make them. Anyway, this is. Bruce Parker, you all know him. No need to introduce him, even though I just did. Okay, so for today's topic, well, let's recap back. So in the last topic, I just want to get Bruce's thoughts on these. Um, we talked about the um, our predictions for the next generation, for the next console generation. So Bruce, we've been hearing all these rumors about the Xbox, the new Xbox, uh, or the next box. Or the fucking 720, which everyone hates the name. So what are your thoughts on all the things you've been seeing about it? I haven't heard much about it. I just I just hear names, and that's about it. Honestly. You haven't heard the rumor about the 16-core processor? No. I mean, I know, I know Twitter's not big on games, but... I still hear enough about games on Twitter to know well, what's going Twitter on. Well, Twitter shouldn't be your only source of information... You oh, I know hipster. that, but how else am I going to get it? Because, I mean, like, I follow all the gaming, uh, you know, websites and their Twitter pages. So, that, you know, like, I'm not just going to, like, get on a gaming website, like, on a, on a certain day, because... I, I, That's I, I what I it. always do. Anyway, um, okay, so what are your thoughts on the PlayStation 4 upcoming codename Orbis? Some people have um, said that it's not going to be called the PlayStation 4 at all, because 4 means death from Japanese translated to English. That they might call it the Orbis, and you know, the Vita's already out. And so Vita and Orbis come from a Latin sentence, meaning circle of life. So could it be called the PlayStation Orbis? I don't know, but I already said all this Speaking shit. of Vita, I would have to put that as one of the most disappointing things of 2012 in terms of gaming. Yeah. Because, like, we know it's potential, but it's just... Too pricey. There's just not enough good games. It just hasn't taken off yet. Um, we might as well get the disappointments out of the way first, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what was the worst game of 2012? Well, okay, that I have played. Well, let's see. What the hell did I play? Hmm. Well, I'm a bit Aqua it, happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say aqua? aqua? Aqua happy. Aqua happy. I'm aqua happy. That sounds dirty. Um, I love my water. <laughs> how much well, do you love your water, Bruce? Do you love it enough that... Um, it's my life support. Yep. It's your soulmate. Um, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, we could talk about all the disappointments, including the worst game... Period. And, and we will worst. do that but later. But Bruce, out of all the games you've played this year, which one was your worst? Ah, uh, the worst one. I didn't I didn't get to play a lot. I didn't get to play a lot of games this year. Out of all the games that I've played in 2010, uh, uh, yeah, so we'll look back track, but in 2010, the worst game I ever played was Metroid Other M. What a fucking disappointment that goddamn piece of shit is. Was it is. this year that you played it? No, I said in 2010. That's oh. when I started actually remembering these things. That's right. And well, then, that's of course, year. the worst game the two of us have both played in 2011. Of course, it's Duke Dukem Forever. And, but this year... It's Steel Battalion Heavy Armor. You, you didn't play that game. Oh, shit. I just spoiled ourselves for later. Anyway, what's the worst game you played this year, Bruce? Uh, I'm not. I'm trying to think about all the games I played, whether it be on the 360, the Wii, or even my iPad, because I'll count those too. But I haven't really played a game that I'm just like, I want to throw the controller, or I want to throw my uh, handheld or tablet or whatever. Like I haven't. You know, I'm pretty sure there's 
a lot of bad games out there. Yeah. So I just haven't... Oh, wait! I remember now. It's this game. Alright. Okay. Remember back in, uh, when I, remember before when I used to make all these videos supporting the shit out of this game, and everyone says, oh, you're fucking crazy, you're the only one that likes this game, and then I was like, no, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you don't, just don't understand, you're too spoiled for me, well, <laughs> I played it once, okay, and when I first played it, I was fine with it. Fine. It wasn't like yes, it and was... yet I wanted to buy it for because I had the uh, previous two installments in this series. I know it's a shame. I actually own it. I know what you're thinking. You're the biggest hypocrite I know. Guilty as charged. What is this game? Yeah. It speaks for itself. It was so bad, I forgot all about it. <laughs> I know, me too. I played it one time. I And I fucking gave up on Ada's campaign. I just... I, and we were... Me and Bruce were planning to play this game in co-op. And then I decided, you know what? I don't think I want to play this game anymore. It was, it was fun the first time. I mean, look at this. People are, were complaining about the Bioshock Infinite and Last of Us covers. Look at this! What the hell is this? Jeez. It's just so blank and plain. You thought Bioshock Infinite was generic? Look at this! This looks like the pre-order cover. Oh, and also, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What did you get in this case? An ad for Resident Evil Damnation. What else? Nothing! No instruction manual! Crapcom, you never cease to fucking amaze me. Uh, what's another... Oh, and what the hell is this second disc for? You have the first disc, which is pretty much the only thing you need, and then disc two, the voiceover pack? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, by the way, Capcom, get your shit together. For everything you make, get your fucking shit together. It used to be awesome. And then your DLC -E bullshit practices has has just pissed everyone off. And then the way that you treat the customers isn't good. Yeah. Oh, but don't even get me started. Okay, you know, you're, I know what you're thinking. Capcom is bad, but no, we are nowhere near as bad as EA is. That can be a, an entire rant video unto itself because EA has always been bad. Which reminds me, another disappointment was Medal of Honor Warfighter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I played the demo, but it's not one of those demos that I would go back. Because, you know, I mean, I do have some demos that I go back to, like Madden. Remember or FIFA. Spec Ops The Line? Yeah. I played the demo for it. It felt generic. But I know that the story did have a lot of moral value issue yeah. things, which but, made it stand out. But yeah, Medal of Honor, it just. Sometimes it kind of felt like a Battlefield 3 ripoff. I don't know why. I just, because they use the same engine. Exactly. That's exactly why. I, I almost forgot about that. I was like, Jared, do you ever get the feeling that it's the same engine? I'm like, well, no fucking wonder. Um, I will say this. Okay, games that I like but I felt could have been better or it was just a little underwhelming. Uh, Max Payne 3 and Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, Max Payne 3 is a damn good game. I liked it. But I wish that there was a little more going okay, to like, but It doesn't have a lot of replay value. Oh, and well, okay. The thing is, with Max Payne 3, they made it true to the other Max Payne games. It's a linear story with a lot of great characters, and, you know, it's the game. Yeah, I mean, and, and remember when everyone just thought this is going to suck, it's going to delay forever and forever. For what we got, I'm, I'm satisfied. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was better than I uh, thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, okay. But uh, I just didn't, I didn't think it impacted me as much as, say, Max Payne 2. That, you know, impact in terms of, like, does it hit you hard or does it, like, like get you engaged as much, you know? And it was good, but it, it could have been it could have been a little better. Um, is, that the, is that really you or is that just the nostalgia talking? I, I mean, I think it's really me because, like, when I was playing it, obviously, uh, there were some levels I just... I don't know. I'm, I couldn't really get into it as much as, and it's not because it was hard. I love it because fact it's I hard. always got into. I was always into it. Yeah, I don't know. I think the storyline. I don't good. know. Maybe. Well, the thing is, you know, Rockstar has never made a bad game. Yeah, 
And this is no this is no way a bad game. I just wish it could have been a little better. But um, it mm. was it was good. It was oh, good. and actually, this is the first true multiplayer competitive multiplayer yeah. that Rockstar did, and it's really damn good. It's so good. Even it made even me play, and I never play online multiplayer. So that that's take that for what it's worth. Yeah. And you said Assassin's Creed Three. Well, you know, once again, I think that with all the hype that it had, it's like if I were to look at you play Assassin's Creed Two and Assassin's Creed Three, I would think to myself, I would probably prefer Two. And uh, even when I played it, uh, I liked it, but uh, I thought that there was going to be more going on. And uh, 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 now both of these games, I think they have flaws that um, can be pretty noticeable at times. I mean, yeah, but it's like a big open world, and some yeah. people say the first time you get it because you're riding. This is my personal experience. You're riding on the hype train, and you're so pumped up. It's like a, yeah, you would start playing it, and this is great. This is fucking amazing. And then, and then. It gets fr and then you get frustrated with it. Yeah. And then, by the end, oh, the you ending. don't give a fuck anymore. I, you know what? By the end, I don't even have to know the ending because I don't even know how it ends. But I can already tell it's gonna be bad because I don't know how. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just say this: it is nowhere near Mass Effect Three bad, but but for what it said, it set up the last game with Desmond, and for what it was, that's it. The f yeah. That was my reaction. Yeah. I think, and this reminds me, probably the best game of the year that was short of being perfect. Now, when I say perfect, obviously, that doesn't have to be 10-10, but just, like, short of perfect would probably be Mass Effect 3, and yes, a lot of that has to do with the ending. Um, but don't blame Bioware. Blame EA. EA Electronic yeah. Fucking Arts. Um... Once, once we get yeah, you call that art? Yeah. Look at how shitty your servers are. It, I couldn't even download the um, extended cut DLC. Why? Because I got it from GameFly, and because you need the special rental pass. What's the fucking deal with all these goddamn rental passes? Why do you need the with all the online passes? You have to buy the physically purchase the game just to well, you access the, all the online features, even when it's not multiplayer, just to access it online at all. They, 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 you know what, some, some... Oh, and EA, oh, don't tell them, even give me a start on how shitty EA's online servers are. It took, I, 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 I had to restart my goddamn Xbox, and I had to turn off my internet connection just to play the damn game because it wouldn't connect online because it was Which checking game? for downloadable content. It would just stay on that screen. Oh, uh, oh Which yeah. Game? Mass Effect 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh um, you know, EA. So I'm sure you've got a lot of shit for Battlefield 3 when it comes yeah, to EA online. Yeah, the, the servers... Yeah, I mean... You know, uh, it, it can get frustrating at times. Obviously, the, the multiplayer itself is fantastic, but the servers do tend to suck. Um, Once we got that out, once we get out of the way, let's talk about the game that we love the most, and I might as well just... Because, like I said, I didn't get to play a lot of games, but I would say I love Halo 4. I mean, that just exceeded my expectations more than any other game this year. I, I mean, I liked it a lot. It looks beautiful. The controls are as nice as can be. And uh, the storyline was, was good enough for me to, like... Some be, people you know, have like, said that they didn't like the story in Halo 4 because all you do is Cortana says, Press this! True. Get this thing back inside the thing! Yeah. And the storyline has its flaws, but I think the but gameplay makes it But the weird thing is, how the hell were they, was, uh, were they able to make, that, make those graphics out of the 360? That, that was impressive. That's weird. Yeah. It looked even better than PS3 games. Some, not, not all of them, but... I know. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? Uh, Halo 4 was one that I was modestly excited for. Uh, not so much because it's it's been so long. It's just because, I mean, I had my thoughts on just other things, right? And then, you know, obviously Election Day was coming up. But that wasn't the only thing. Oh, one thing, thing that's cool is what if you. I, I, I got it from Gamefly and rent it. As you know, I rent from Gamefly. It's on a play. I'm just mentioning it. Um, once you. Um, Put it on in the, on the day it came out. It said, it said, thank you for me. But at the like, cause the thing that I like is three four three really wants to let really wants to let you know, 
this is ours now. Because they have messages at the beginning, at the end of the game, and they said, um, we wa um, we're really proud of what we did. St I forgot something like that. We hope you had as much fun playing it as much as we did making it. And I, the cool thing at the end is it said, um, this went away after, but it said, and if you live in the U.S., don't forget to vote. <laughs> And, nice. yeah, but for what they had to work with and the pressure, they did a good job, 343. I know it's mostly ex bunch employees, but as a brand new company working yeah. on their first game to take up the tasks, they, they did it. They, they made it good. And it makes me feel good about the future. Of and, see, the thing is, they really made the gameplay the same. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but some people say they want to see it evolve. So we'll have to see what's next. Because I, I admit, I liked Halo 3, but once again, it was one of those ones that I liked, but it was a bit underwhelmed, and I thought Halo 4 made up for that. So, um, best Halo game since Halo 2. So, um, you know, it makes me feel good about the future of Halo 2. Yeah, it's because, cool. shit, the new one, we all know, it'll be on the next Xbox. And take, you see, remember how good it looks already? Yeah. Take that and see how much even better it can do. We'll just, we'll just have to wait another... Three to five years. That's usually the time frame between each one, three to five. So, uh, can't wait. <laughs> Alright, so what was my best game of 2012? Which reminds me, another game in 2012 that I'm going to note. I, I liked Hitman and Absolution a lot. Yes. I, I did. Okay. Um, and what was it? It can get difficult, but I like, you know, I like it. Um, obviously, this, the story, the story uh, of the game... It's very Tarantino-esque, but it also has little pinches of David Fincher thrown across, and I like that. That's what the internet all said about it. And I agree, because I, I, I'm a fan of both directors. I've seen many films, and I'm like, okay, well, I agree with them. It does feel like, especially, the characters is the whole Tarantino, right? Yeah. And, and we, in the feel of it is very David Fincher. And the thing is, so. um, we haven't heard um, Agent 47 talk as much as he did in this one. Sure. Yeah, like he's just full on chatterbox. Yeah. This. But the thing is, it's refreshing. You know what I mean? Because it's... we never hear him talk. But the weird thing is, he is British. I never even knew that. Is he? I can't. Like believe. you can hear it in his accent. Maybe like, a little. I... Okay, Sometimes. either he's British or he's extremely heavy East Coast accent. Probably. I think so. I think it's the East Coast because I mean, doesn't it take place in Chicago though? Yeah. At one point, yeah, and then they. Uh, I've only completed Chicago the, and South Dakota. I've only completed the first part of the I, I beat the whole game, game and it's, it was pretty good. Yeah. I almost threw my fucking controller at the TV, and it was also my first um, PS3 official game that I played after the four initial ones I got received in the bundle. Oh, and the graphics? They're pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so those will probably be my two favorite games. And Yeah, and that... I, and I haven't played Black Ops 2. I still need to play, play Black Ops 2, and eventually I'll get around it. So. Call of Duty, same old shit. <laughs> anyway, but um, it's good. It's good. It's. It, I'm hearing. How much more can about... you handle the same thing every goddamn but, year? But here's the thing. I mean, they're, they're what, treating it like a sports franchise. Well, I know, and trust me, I have a love hate thing for it. But I, I hear a lot. Of, I heard uh, good things about. Obviously, the multiplayer is as good as can as can be, really. But I'm pretty sure that they must have added a lot of. Things to multiplayer considering of the new technology, the new weapons, that, that kind of whole thing that they're going for, right? Which itself was the kind of refreshing. Are, yeah, but yeah. my problem with Call of Duty is that they they're not evolving as much as they should be. Yeah, yeah. they evolve in terms of the story and the environment, but what about how actually the actual gameplay itself? It just feels the same, and it just I just got bored entirely. Well, no, of it. it's kind of similar to Halo, like the controls. Yeah, you haven't really changed it. The same goes for Black Ops 2. But what both games execute on is a good enough story and multiplayer. So they're kind it's of similar. It's funny how in depth we we're getting in this video when only 10 people are going to fucking watch it. <laughs> that's why I'm. That's, that's why. our dedication to you. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, so this. We just went completely off course in throughout this since this video started because our initial topic is. What is our most anticipated games of 2013? But I can see why we want to talk, because notice how everyone's doing their best of 2012 lists. Yeah. This is this is our best of and worst of, pretty much. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, at least we know that we haven't, you know, typed out the title yet, because okay. we might as well say that for another time, yeah. right? Okay, so the thing is, 
I named out my top, um, I was going to do a countdown of my top insert number here, but the way I think about it, should I do it because with the number list? Because I really, because I really want all of them. That doesn't mean I want one less than the other. Yeah. But what the hell? I'll do it right now. Wait, wait. So you already know that Black Ops Two is a game that I'll, I want to play that I still haven't played from 2012. What about you? What what what's a game that you want to play? It could be on any system. Far Cry Three, bitches. No, I'm talking about this year. That came out this year. Far Cry Three. That came out in. Oh wait. Far Cry 3. Oh, Far Cry, dub. Think about Far Cry. Dee -dee -dee. Far Cry, I want to play that too, because I hear a lot of good things about that. Um, Wait, you said Far Cry 2. Well, that's funny, because you said that came out in 2008, that's when Far Cry 2 came out, and then when you try to title this, it's Far Cry 2. Okay, the thing is, I haven't gotten it yet, but everyone's saying this game is fucking amazing, and guess what? It won revision 3 games. Uh, one of the pe people there, Max Scoville, he said it was his number one game of the year. Nice. And on uh, Reviews on the Run, which by the way, G4 is dead now. Yeah. And if you remember Judgment Day, Victor Lucas, he still carries on that show and I still watch him uh, online. And so he named Far Cry 3 the best um, shooter of 2012. Yeah. Yeah, and... From what I see about it, it's like an old, I like the whole open world feel of it. How uh, it's kind of like a, the way I see it, it's like a realistic, mo, or like a realistic Borderlands and like a modern Skyrim. That's the way I look at it. It's like those yeah. two fused together. Which reminds me, Borderlands 2 is another one I, I really Oh, yeah, played. I really enjoyed that one too. Oh, you played it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it from Game Fly. Yeah, it, you know, I mean, because Borderlands. No one really knew what Borderlands was, obviously, when it first came out. But then, once they actually got a hold of it, once they started hearing good it things It just got about a cult it, following, and then it became it, mainstream, and, and then, everyone knows about yeah, it. Yeah, and then once the second one came out, I actually wanted to play it. I'm like, yes, you know what I mean? So, um, that's one I definitely want to check out. Um, so, what games are you 2012 saw? was a good year for games, would you say? A lot of people say no. I would, I would probably agree. Big you're so contradicting. I, well, you first I mean, you said yeah, and now you're just saying no. No, no, no. no I'm, I'm saying like, you thought it was a good year, yeah, huh? You know. What oh, I mean? well. Yeah, um, I, I was asking you like, you know. In terms of games, like, <laughs> there was not enough of those types of games, really. Okay, there were games that were so excited. To, yes, but once they finally came out, your just, excitement went. Yeah. Like I said, those few games we mentioned. Um, Assassin's Creed 3, Resident Evil 6, the, which were the two which I was really excited for. Wham! Want a whole lot of love? Wham! <laughs> um, but Halo 4, would you agree? You know, I was like not excited for Halo 4 at all. But you, know, you didn't think but it was But once really bad. I actually got my hands on it, I was... I was pleasantly surprised, like, damn. We could have stopped playing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We actually filmed it, but I haven't even uploaded <laughs> any of those videos yet. Yeah. Um, I think it's part of my paranoia that, um, yeah, I, that they might get taken down. I think um, games, when you compare their year to, say, movies or music, it, it just was not as good as... The thing is, if the games that we were all excited for were just as amazing just as we initially gap. thought... Yeah, but the thing is... We're now going to transition into 2013. Yeah. Well, um, one more thing. Well, you know how I felt, obviously everyone's saying, great year for movies. There was a lot of good movies that came out. Great year for music. I heard a lot of good albums. Games, you know, I mean, when you compare it to, you didn't think it was as good as last year, didn't you? No. But the thing is, next year, I can already tell, it's going to be... Yeah. It's going to be... It's going to be good. Okay, um, what is the most sexually offensive word I can say? It is... Fucking orgasmic. No, it's, it's not like... That offensive. It's like a... It is going to be the ultimate... It's... The ultimate coming wet vagina. <laughs> what? No, just be the ultimate cum shot. Just bam. Bam! It's like a dog. It's like a dog. Hey, shot. Yeah, cum shot, cum shot. Um... Yeah, that was, yeah, we're, we're yeah, yeah uh, we're, we're we're pathetic. Um, so I mean, just, remember how everyone said there's nothing good that comes out in the first half of the year, nothing like huge triple H, just bah, 
games like that that come out, you know? Yeah. And but Rock now Dog. it's all full of it. Yeah, I mean. Okay, hang on. Yeah. So, what are my top five? Actually, fuck the list. Fuck we'll the just list. we'll just, just go to go through them as we go call along. Call them out. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, first of all, Bioshock Infinite. I did to... We've been waiting for that for a long time. Yes. Yeah, for a long ass time. And uh, I, Bioshock is still one of my favorite games that I played. Yeah, the thing years. is, that was the first game when I first saw it on the first Bioshock on the Xbox 360. I first saw it started to. Uh, I saw it and I'm like, wow, this really is the future is now. Yeah. And I saw it because it was just so. Little, yeah, I mean. Get, and then Bioshock 2 got rushed and fucked out by 2K. Yeah, they, they fucked it up. Because they were rushed and Ken Levine, he's the creator. Yeah. Uh, but he wasn't involved at all. He, he was probably busy with Infinite. He probably was, you know? Yeah. I mean, how else do you think it's taking this long? But now, yeah. The thing is, when I first saw the the original tease, teaser. teaser trailer, like it's underwater, just saw it underwater, and then he gets out and he's in a fish tank, and then he's like this, he just get pushed out. Is it? Is it? It's in the fucking sky. Ah! Yeah. The, the, like my first reaction was, ah! and then I heard that. Um, what well, was this in 2011? No, 2010. Oh shit! And then I first heard that in E3 of 2010. Mhm. Mm no, that they were going to release gameplay already. Oh yeah. And the press already saw it. And that original 10-minute gameplay footage that just blew me away. I agree. And it's then like, we had damn. to wait, and then delays occurred. And, and then... everyone thought, man, this game is gonna be shitty. All these delays and all and irrational, you know, the developer. Yeah. Uh, so many. You've heard that a lot of people are getting fired from it, and it, man, it's gonna suck. Too bad. Too bad. And then Ken Levine said, "Hey, shut the fuck up. Here, some new footage <laughs> after two years because they were not at E3 at all this year. No. Nope. And, uh, and just, then they showed, just recently they games. showed a new trailer, and then at the VGs they showed new gameplay, and now." They showed the first five minutes of the game. Yeah, I yeah I saw that. Yeah. Um, All I can say is, and that's the, the biggest cock tease at the end. He's just sitting there. He's like, you know, he thinks he's in a trap, and you can tell it's going to be a roller coaster up to Columbia. Yeah. You can tell, oh man, it's going to be good. Ah, you cock tease! Damn it. Uh, and then we'll just have to wait till March. So. Oh god, yeah, I just can't wait for it. I mean, damn. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look nice. It's gonna it's gonna be a nice game. It's gonna make it's let's think of it this way. It's gonna make you forget about Bioshock Two, and it's going. I've already you, forgotten about Bioshock Two. And it's going to make you think, and it's gonna make it, you think that Bioshock is a piece of shit. Yeah. Okay. Next, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is one I've been waiting for. for the thing quite is, a while now. guess when this fucker was announced. 2010. Yep. That's when the, we saw a screenshot, a screenshot. of Lara Croft. Yeah, it. And it's like, is, is, is that Lara Croft? Hey, how come she's not wearing a slutty outfit anymore? Hey, why are her boobs smaller? Yeah, that's what all the internet said, but this is for the better. Yeah. Because... Game Informer had the first, like, <sighs> official, like, cover still. And I remember when I got that issue, I was like... Cause you know Game Informer, they, they don't tell you shit on the front. They, the picture, and that's it, right? Yeah. And then once you open, I'm like, what? A new Tomb Raider? And it's actually gonna be good. I like the past four. And then 2011 was when they released that trailer first gameplay, and everyone first... said, "Oh man, you better play this game with headphones, cause Laura sounds like she's having an orgasm <laughs> all the time." Yeah, and then. And then we find out that it got delayed <laughs> to 2013, and I'm like, shit. You know I know, I mean? we were so looking forward to it coming out this year. But then, like, I see more and more about it. But here I'm we just... are, at towards the end of 2012, you know? Yeah. So, uh, when does it come out? March Fall? 5th. Oh, oh, oh. nice. Uh, cannot wait. That's all I can if say. It, yeah, and 
the thing is, most people just play the game, it would be shitty, but they would play it just to look at Lara Croft. But now, you actually want the game, and you actually you, care yeah. about the characters. Like, there's a thing where it makes her feel very vulnerable, and remember that scene, it's like, it makes you feel like you kind of would just want to protect her. She got, like, I can't believe she didn't die from all that. <laughs> yeah. She got, I mean, take wow. all the shit that Nathan Drake goes through and just crank it to 11. Yeah. Because uh, it looks like this game might be rated M. Right? It is rated M. It, it, yeah, it is. For it's... blood and gore, strong violence. Sounds about right. Yeah. It's about fucking time. Extreme. Johnny Extreme! That's an old <laughs> X-Play reference. Um, um, the other game that comes to mind is... Just recently. Well, not that, not too recent. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, to the last of us! <laughs> Yep. Yep. <laughs> you see this? Naughty Dog? They are the second people next... They are the second... Can you even see that? They are the... Fuck it. They are the second... Um, uh, the, the second next to Rockstar, in my opinion, uh, the developers that just like you want to shit yourself anytime you see any gameplay from any of their games. If they, they, they just know how to push your nerdgasm button. You think, you think, uh... You already know what I think about the oh, box yeah. cover. You don't want to see me go on a ten minute rant. Again, all I'm going to say is good job, good kudos to Naughty Dog for wanting to keep the cover the way it is because it was Sony that made them want to change it. Naughty Dog pretty much told me, hey, um, I know that we've been working together for over 15 years. You know, we had a good run. You know, we're still, we're good friends. But fuck you, it's our game. It's our cover, dipshit. Yeah, you're just a publisher. We actually make the game. Without you, without without us, you are nothing. I wonder, okay, wait, never mind. Yeah. You've got Gorilla and, yeah. and, and, and um, Insomnia. I wonder what the actual statement was, though. Like, and Sucker Punch. I oh, wonder, yeah, guess how controversial this was, especially towards the whole sexism in video games. That's actually been a big topic lately. Yeah. But get, you know what everyone's been saying? What? The, I, I the person... If this got so out of hand that even, um, fuck, what's her name? <laughs> Ashley Johnson, the person that makes the voice of Ellie, even had to say something about this. Wow. You know, I think I, I could have swore I saw the cover, but I wasn't sure if it was just the uh, in, in, like, what do you call it? Like the in process. Working? Working, yeah. Like, I wasn't sure if it was just that. I'm like, oh, so that's the actual cover? Okay. <laughs> you know, you don't think much of it, you know? Yeah, you know, it's... But everyone just hated how Ellie was in the front and Joel was in the back. And when you see the new, when you see, when you see the new trailer, especially the one that they showed at uh, the VGAs, yeah. you start to realize how big of a part she'll play. I mean, she is the main kid. She's with you all the time, so, yeah. True. Um, but the game itself looks amazing. It looks really good. Oh god! If Uncharted was was a me, if Uncharted gave people a boner, The Last of Us will just straight up orgasm. Why? So you don't think anyone got orgasms from Uncharted Three? <laughs> Speaking of, you still need to get Uncharted Three. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm coming. That's a really good game. They're, well, they're all good. I am. I'm playing Uncharted Two right now. Oh, true. So might, might as well wait. Um. You, oh, you know, I remember it, when they first announced it, too. Yeah. Like, Ooh, oh, what Ooh. is this? Ooh. And then, once I saw the gameplay for it, I'm like... Ah! Yeah. yeah, so, okay. So, if that is already a game, I am guaranteed no one's gonna stop me. This is... This game is why I bought a PlayStation 3. I, I've been wanting to get, well, get it initially, but, you know, this is the one that just... Pushed me over the edge. Yeah. What, what are you looking for? Most Oh, you're gonna cheat. <laughs> no, I'm just, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Technology, iPad four bitches. It's funny. Someone, someone the other day, um, was told me, uh, "Hey, is that a two or a three? And I was like, "It's a four. And he was like, "Oh." <laughs> oh, bitch, you um, told. I think bef uh, before you move on, let's not forget. Another game that we're excited for. Don't say. Okay. Uh, then keep it up. I mean, I okay. Know what else are you gonna so. We got the last of us. 
and then... Are you excited for Sly Cooper? Yes. I mean, yeah, I'm excited for Sly Cooper. The last Sly Cooper game came out seven years ago. Yeah. And, uh, Sly... Yeah, it hasn't even been on the PS3 yet, that's how... Oh, wait. I thought they were recently put on the PS3. No, I'm just talking about in general. There hasn't been a new Sly Cooper oh, game that, in this generation. Right. And right when this generation is going to end. Yeah. Uh, Sly 2 was my childhood. That was my childhood, slide two. That was a good game. Um, I, you know what? I'm actually really excited for Dead Space 3. And the reason why is because when you look at that trailer, you realize, okay, this is going to be different, right? Because mm -hmm. Dead Space 2, it was good, but it was pretty much, an, uh, it was a continuation of Dead Space. But Dead Space 3, bam, you're like in these new, new places or whatever. You oh, know? and your partner is a schizophrenic. That, 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 yeah, that makes it interesting, too. But the thing is, the internet still hates it. They're saying it's not about, it, uh, it, it the game's going to be way too easy. You think so? Oh, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm. Um, any excitement for the new God of War? Or the new Gears of War? God <sighs> of War, Gears of War? Yeah. Why? Well, would it be nice to play it? Uh, yes. I knew I'm going on. to play it. It just doesn't feel as epic. Well, at least, but this will be your first one on the PS on the PS3, though. Yeah. Unless if you buy the old yeah, ones. Yeah, and the funny thing is, I checked the views online, and God of War, it's funny how games that don't have a number by them, you can tell they're not as main and as epic, and it really shows. Yeah. Um, because these are all prequels. True. I'm trying to wonder what else. What else is there? There's got. There's got to be more. There's got to be more. Uh. Oh. Beyond. Beyond. I really enjoyed Heavy Rain. I yeah. watched. It get played and I was just sucked into it completely. But now, but it's just gonna be so weird because I'm not gonna think of the main character as just the main character. I'm just gonna think, oh, that's Ellen Page. <laughs> it's just so hard because you know, like she's just one of those people where it's just really hard to separate the character from the actor. Yeah. You know, kind of like when you. Uh, it's like whenever you try to watch Pierce Brosnan in a new movie, you're like, oh, it's James Bond. I agree. Um, you know what's one game that I am still waiting on that I haven't heard shit about in fucking two years? Prey 2. Well, not not that. The Last Guardian. I mean, Okay, right? I know you Japanese people are perfectionists, but come on already. I'm sure what you're going to come out with right now is just... <laughs> I mean, I mean, you created Shadow of the Colossus, which was another part of my childhood, by the way. You created Eco, and those two are revered as genre-defining games. This has to be amazing. Don't come out with it already! <laughs> Holy shit! You're you're going to skip one entire console generation for it. Some people, are you really going to wait this long? Some people are afraid that it's never going to get. Made. Oh. You want to know another game that people are saying it's never going to get made? What? Beyond Good and Evil 2. That is like the one cl cult classic Ubisoft hit that everyone wants. Yeah. I agree. Check this poll out. That sounded about right. Yeah. But look at look at that. Wow. Nico. Really? Yeah. In fourth place? Oh, come on. No, no, I'm talking about Tumor. Oh, no, well, the, no okay, well, it. let's... Okay, okay, okay. All right, so, if The Last of Us is already a guarantee one of the Mongolian games, I'm just guaranteed to buy. What is, and that, the other one, the one that I want even more than The Last of Us? Okay, don't say shit. Don't ruin it. I really, really want to hype the shit out of this. Okay, and if you're, you're, you're not watching anymore, well, I'm sorry. For those that are still trooping on through this extremely long gaming corner, um, congrats. Um, let's just say this. You see this? I was addicted to this game. 
I loved every single millisecond of it. I, I mean, Rockstar, is, I'll just say it out right now. Rockstar is my favorite developer, publisher of all time. They, the thing is, I just love their games. I love everything about them. I just, how you just get so immersed and so engaged in everything that's going on. You just always have a good time in everything. You just, Grand Theft Auto 4. Of course, it's Grand Theft Auto 5. When I first heard that it was getting made, like, oh my god. When I first heard about it, I was like, damn, I saw the trailer, it looked really interesting, and they found something out. You know what the first thing I've noticed was? What? Come on, you know. Oh, the... The, the trailer? Oh, that one. The original one, yeah. Yeah. It's in San Andreas again, bitches! Or something like that. It takes place in Los Santos, and just hearing how it's bigger than this game, and this game, and this game, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas combined, motherfucker! And then I hear that um. You play as three characters, you can switch between them at any time, how each per person is, you can, there's so many vehicles and how money, so we got that. Oh, uh, yeah, so, by the way, you can, yeah, I don't care what you say, I love this game. Okay, the, okay, it's a critic darling, but yet the, the public doesn't really like it a lot. Well, fuck the public. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can see. And then Max Payne 3 was... You're, you're in. Yeah, I got that. I got that. I got that. Yeah. I got that. I got that. And if my PS2 games were out, I would show you Red Dead Revolver. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah. As you can tell, I fucking love Rockstar. I mean, just... Oh yeah, you have Max Payne 2 somewhere in there too. Yeah, yeah, but it's in a rental I case because I bought it yeah. for like two ninety nine. <laughs> two ninety nine. Um, yeah, you can tell he's a fanatic of Rockstar games. He owns more of those games than any other publisher's game. So, yep. Uh, there's a rumor that it might come out June nineteenth. Really. Yes, yeah. I would expect it more of an April or May type of thing. Yeah, so it's kind of like because the spring. thing is, Max Payne three came out in May. L.A. Noire came out on May. Red Dead Redemption came out in May. This doesn't count because it's DLC. This came out in April. So, you know, it makes you think. Yeah, but I can't wait. That's all. I, that's all I have to say. I mean, that's all I have to say. Just. I, I can't wait. Damn. Oh, and guess what? There's the rumors that this game is so huge graphically that the Xbox 360 version of it will need five discs. Yikes. But, hey, I'm getting it on the PS3. So you're going to break the mold. Yeah, because I'm taking it back to its roots. You know, it was all on the PS2. That's what it was known for, and I'm bringing it back to the PlayStation. Nice. Um, I guess it's... Oh, and guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> what do you call a fish without eyes? Oh. Ah, Because <laughs> there's no eye. Oh, I... I, I that, that was... That was... That was pretty bad. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Ah! Oh. I won. One more. What, the best two out of three? Yeah. I won. Oh. oh. No, that's it. <laughs> hey. What? 
I, we need to go to the pet store and buy you a dog collar. You want to know why? Because <laughs> I just made you my bitch. Oh. That's the best thing to say to anyone if you went really beat someone really badly. It's ironic that I said that to him. Nice. Goodbye. See you next week. <laughs>